Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a long time, so this video is kind of like a life update type of thing. Um, sorry if the lighting is a little bit strange, I don't know how it actually looks on the camera, but my ceiling light just decided to stop working when I decided to film this video. Okay Reggie, you're giving away what the video is about. <laughs> my life update, is it like a little puppy? And he really wanted to say hello, don't you baby Reggie? So this is Reggie, he is now five months old, and he's a cockapoo, aren't you a little cockapoo? But he resembles more like a labradoodle, cause he's massive, <laughs> aren't you? You wanna show how big you are? Look, say I'm a big boy. <laughs> he doesn't like that. Okay, you wanna go down, go down. He'll just be probably chilling in the background a lot of the time, but I'll try and show you some, some cute things of him because he is just the cutest little boy in the whole world. We're absolutely obsessed with him. There he is. That's his little toy on my bed too, not mine. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so this all happened very quickly and very randomly. Reggie, if you could stop scratching the bed, not great sound quality. Oh, there he is. Hopefully he'll stay like that, but probably not. Good boy. So yes, this was all very sudden. My family, me especially, we've always been cat people. So we've had a couple of cats, just always been cat people. Never was a dog person. Although I did walk dogs for about six years after school as a job, but I was just always a cat person. Like I never thought I would get a dog. I just envisioned myself as like a crazy cat lady with like 12 cats. Reggie, stop. We're just gonna have to put up with it, I think, so. <laughs> yeah, so we had zero intention of ever getting a dog, ever. Like, throughout my entire life, we never thought about getting a dog. Now, we were never thinking about getting a dog. Me and my mum had been looking at cats because we both wanted a pet. We love cats, so we've been looking at cats, um, trying to figure out which one might be good for us, like, to rescue from different places. But my dad had been adamant, like, no pets. We're not getting another cat, we're not getting any pets, no pets. And we were like, mm, and we were gonna try and get one anyway. <laughs> but anyway, so we were visiting up north in end of June, beginning of July. And my mum's friend, or like a mutual friend of all of ours actually, shared her friend's post on Facebook, which was a picture of Reggie as a puppy at like eight weeks old. And uh, I'll insert the picture here because honestly, he just looks like a teddy bear. So my mum saw the picture and was like, oh my God, that's the cutest dog I've ever seen. And she showed it to my dad. Are you now eating the rug? So, sorry, I just, I have to keep getting up to see what he's doing and stop him eating things. So sorry if I keep changing position, but that's what's happening. But yes, so my mum showed this picture of Reggie to my dad. Reset again. So my mum showed this picture to my dad of Reggie and my dad was like, is that a real dog? Like, he looks like a toy. How is that a real dog? That's so cute. And my mom was like, oh yeah, like, blah, blah, shared it. It's a dog, it's a puppy, he's available. And my dad's like, oh, well, like message them and ask where he is and how much he is. And my mom was like, like, hadn't even considered this as a possibility that this might be a thing. So she was like, she took, she, that was all she needed. She was like, okay, and she was like messaging the people. Um, just quickly to add, I forgot to say this in the beginning, but on the post with the cute picture of Reggie, they had said that his name was Reggie. And my dad has this thing that he remembers from the 80s, from not the nine o'clock news. It was literally one sketch. It's like two seconds, cause he's showed it to me since. And they um, they accuse um, Reggie the dog Shrubshaw of a crime. And so Reggie the dog was like a thing for him. So the fact that this dog was called Reggie and it was adorable was also just like the selling point. <laughs> of course they had tons of interest because the picture was absolutely adorable. Like who wouldn't want that dog? But um, they opened our message and they said, do you want to come see him? And my dad said, how about tomorrow? And we were all like, okay. So we went to see him the next day and the rest is history. Because I mean, if he was cute in the photo, he was even cuter in person. 
and there, there was no way we were gonna go there and not have him so yeah then he was ours we went and visited we saw his mum and his sister who the owners were keeping there were six of them total puppies in his litter but he was actually the last one so he was the runt technically he's definitely not a runt he's massive <laughs> but um yeah they were keeping the little girl one called nova but um the dad of the family he had wanted to keep reggie um for, that's why they had him until the end he was the last one they were trying to get rid of because he had tr been trying to convince them that they should keep <laughs> reggie as well because he was so cute but the mom was like nope we have too many dogs <laughs> that's it so yeah they would needed to get rid of little reggie and um it just worked out that we went to see him and we all fell in love with him and my dad was like yes we'll take him and me and my mom were both like so in shock and it all happened within two days it was just the craziest thing and so then we were um we had to come back down to london and then go back up the next week to get reggie because we had some things on that week so we couldn't just immediately take him so we ended up getting him when he was about 10 weeks old um and that was about the 12th of july i think something like that and yeah we've had him ever since obviously <laughs> what are you up to making mischief are you eating my pillow? You knocked it up and you're eating it. <sighs> it's all good fun having a puppy. <laughs> so I guess I'll tell you a bit about how we've found having a puppy for the first time, a dog for the first time when we started with a puppy, which is just insane in my opinion. Having a puppy is so difficult. Like I've never had a child, but my parents say it is the same, if not harder than having a baby because at least the baby like has a nappy on the dog doesn't have a nappy on so reggie was not great at potty training <laughs> he didn't he just fully didn't grasp the concept for a long time and we had a lot of accidents he agrees <laughs> um and so yeah we would take him outside for ages and just have him outside for like an hour wouldn't do anything come back inside within two minutes done a wee in the house and it was just like why he just couldn't grasp it and we tried every tip and trick from everyone we know with all because they'd all had puppies and nothing worked for him the only thing that we ended up doing that semi worked and i think now that's why he's he because he's really good now fully like trained is we would take him outside and if he didn't go to the toilet do anything we put him in his crate for half an hour take him back out if he didn't do anything back in the crate take him back out so then didn't give him the opportunity to wee in the house or anything because he he was we crate trained him straight away and he already like figured out in his head that he wasn't going to wee in there because that's where he slept kind of thing so that ended up working quite well for us and so um yeah now he's pretty good doesn't really have any accents i mean they're all gonna have accents occasionally but he sits by the door and looks at you if he wants to be taken outside which is so cute so obviously we live in london we don't have a lot of outside space he's trying to get out of my room reggie where are you trying to go where are you trying to go come here silly boy yeah so because we are in london we only have a small outside courtyard which is behind those curtains and the reason those curtains are closed is because it's currently covered in scaffolding so he can't even go out there at the moment so every time he wants to go out he has to wait by the front door and we have to take him out onto the street which is not ideal good boy reginald what are you doing what are you doing you silly boy what are you doing <laughs> he's been asleep all morning so now he's like woken up he's quite lively because he hasn't been doing anything so he doesn't really want me to hold him so Oh, the, the bitey phase. Are you, are you demonstrating? I was going to talk about that later. Should we talk about it now? He is teething at the moment. He has lost at least nine teeth because we have found nine of his teeth. Um, but he, I'm guessing he will have swallowed more because it's super common for them to lose them and swallow them. We're surprised by the amount we've actually found, to, to be honest. Um, he likes to play with his teeth when he loses them, which is why we found them. Because I would like l be watching him and I'd be like, why is he playing with these like spitting out and sucking back in this little thing and it's a tooth. So he's very funny. 
So we did enroll him in puppy training classes for a few weeks when we first got him. And he learned the usual sit, stay, lie down, all that. Just trying to get him into some good habits, really. And he met one of his best little doggy friends there, which is really cute. They're very sweet together. Um, I'll try and get a video of him doing some of his tricks later, if I can. He's not going to cooperate right now because he's a bit hyper. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll attempt to do that and insert it here. Sit. Best lie down. Ready, come. different phases of kind of bad behaviors I suppose so he's teething right now like I just showed so the biting is a thing that he's doing a lot at the moment he had a phase a while ago where he just wouldn't go to bed so like I said we did crate train him at the beginning and he was really good went in his crate he would go in there to nap just go in there by himself and then he he got to this stage and he would not go in there he would not go to sleep so you had to like really force him in there and then he would just cry and howl and he wouldn't let you leave so he wanted he was fine being in there if he knew you were there so we all had to take turns sleeping on the sofa for a while just so he would sleep because otherwise he would just bark all night which wasn't great but eventually he's he figured that one out as well and he's fine now but that probably all stems from his separation anxiety which he really does have um like all the time he follows us around like if you leave the room he feels the need to follow you to see where you're going to make sure you're not leaving he cries when we go out even if like one person goes out and the other two are still here he'll cry and like wait at the window for them to come back it's very cute but it's so sad the poor little thing he's also now going through a barking phase where every time someone walks past the window on the street he has to bark at them now, as I said, there's scaffolding out the back. Well, there's also scaffolding out the front and therefore there are builders. So he basically spends most of the day barking at the builders, which is really not good. And we're really trying to discourage it. So if anyone has any tips on that, that would be great because we're not having too much success. Um, and it, it's like everyone who walks on the street on the path as well, he just barks because he, he has such good hearing. He can just hear people and oh it's not it's not great but hopefully that one will pass soon as well he's scratching my carpet again he's here to say hello he has the cutest mannerisms he's just the funniest boy ever i can't even explain him to you he's just such a character it's so funny um and so we love him we're obsessed with him i spend all day like staring at him when i'm working i just go for my reggie cuddle breaks rather than coffee breaks because <laughs> he's just so cute and he's just i just oh i just want to squish him i just love him <laughs> and he's yeah we're just obsessed with him and very happy that he's a part of our family now um so yeah that's kind of my main life update anyone has any reggie questions um, please leave them in the comments below or any general questions, please leave them below. I'm going to try to start filming more videos, I promise. I have a couple that I have planned. They are coming. So stay tuned, subscribe, like this video if you think Reggie's adorable. I expect as many likes as views because who doesn't think Reggie is adorable? Thank you. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> what are you doing? Reggie, are you ready? Is he performing a video? Have you never seen this before? Reginald! Reginald! Come on, let's not eat the rug! Let's not eat the rug! Yes! Yes! Good boy! Can you sit? You sit with doggy! How do you sit with doggy? 
Good boy. Come on. Do you want to sit with Hebe? Come sit with Hebe. Come sit with Hebe. Look. Can you sit on Hebe's lap? No, you want to scratch the bed. You're a very good boy now, aren't you? Say, I'm a good boy, everybody. Thank you.